So perhaps I have interacted with your content mm. firsthand, and I'm really, really, I can see a lot of care and effort went to me to putting, to putting that package together. Mm. So I have two questions left for you mm. before we wrap this up. Mm. <clears throat> One, mm. it is so deliberate that you have put in mm. godliness and faith mm. in it. Mm. Now, th in this day and age, mm. we somehow manage to always separate. Mm. Yeah, we, we, we kind of feel like, oh, you're bringing so much religiousness mm. into this, you know. Mm. Why have you mm. stayed with that? Mm. Uh, because it is usually so clear that mm. in your classes that the purposefulness we are talking about is a God-driven purpose. Mm. So why? First of all, as a mentor, now yeah. without even being a life coach, mm. as a mentor on confidence, my journey has been inspired by God. Yeah. And I don't think there is any other source of confidence apart from God. Mm. True confidence that we last through crisis. Mm. You know, that we last through the highs and lows of life. Of, yeah. life of friends. The only you know, place where confidence can be consistent is in God. Where there is no But just money. knowing that you are with me, though I walk through the valley with the shadow of death, you are with me. Yeah. Like that certainty, yeah. where things don't have to change for me to feel confident. I can be confident in the crisis. And that is why I don't think there is any confidence without God out there. Mm. And it's not about shoving my beliefs into other people's, mm. you know, shoving them down other people's throats. Yeah. Yeah, because you remember in Stilamam we've had Muslims, we've had yes. Hindus as our clients. And when they come into that space, it's about still pointing them towards, I think, can give you confidence. Exactly. It may not be the only thing. Yeah. Yeah, because there are many other factors apart from that. Mm. But it's because that is what I know. Mm. That is what I know, that is what has worked. And mm. to be able to interact with people, I think... Doing ecumenical studies really helped me in a way mm. that I can work with people from other faiths, from other denominations without offending their space. Yeah. And the other thing that we do is also sing. Yes. Yeah. We Human sing Arise, a song we, every we have at the two beginning. Songs. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and, and those songs are also wired to push in that conversation. Mm. So if you are discussing wholeness, we have a, a song. song on wholeness. If we're discussing self concept, we have mm. a song driving that point home. If we're discussing family foundations, we are driving in with, you know, yeah. In Christ alone, my hope is found. Yeah, because that is the foundation. Yeah. And so now understanding that is first of all to be able to identify the source of confidence is God. Mm -hmm. And of course, the other thing is 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 the is the fact that, I mean, wholeness is a whole conversation that 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 only God can actually deal with. There are some things that nobody will ever fix in our lives. For you, nobody. Yeah. Nobody. We just need time and God alone. Yeah. Yeah. The people who have come through, like. Looking at even looking back at still a mom, when someone has lost a baby, there is nothing you can do to fix it. Yeah, you know, it's only God who can fix that space. Yeah, and so admitting that when it comes to wholeness, it can only come from God, confidence can only come from God. Purpose, you are here for God, mm. your life will never make sense if God is not in the equation. Yeah, you know, and so for me, that is why God is in the center of it all. And the other thing I always remind myself it's not about the powerful content. It's mm. about God infusing his breath into it. Into the content. Yeah, because itself. it's only God who can cause it to come alive for the individual people. And yeah, even in the different, and in the current thing they are battling that day. Different situations. Yeah, because yeah. these are people who are going through different things. There is no standing order. Mm. You know, like... Actually, to, to me, kila eh, kila, kila, kila mtu ata, ata receive. Mm. It's actually a personal journey. And also to teach those people to... To, to turn to God. Yeah. Because after the program, and what then, happens? And there's no longer, they will there's find no other challenges down there. Yeah. Yeah, like when we go for the retreat and we're doing the, the crocodiles in my river, we're actually saying, your river is not yet over. There's still some crocodiles waiting for you downstream. Mm. And you, they can only be able to overcome that if they have been built in their capacity, not just in terms of confidence and you know you do this, you know, breathe in, breathe out, you yeah. feel peaceful. Mm. Also, turn to God. That's that true. Time. He's the only person who will be present, ever present. Mm. for the rest of your life and so when we will go and do the parents uh, program or the parent, parenting session who will come the women the moms the women yeah actually the moms will come there's actually one school where we went and there were 71 parents and only two were dads yeah the others were moms and grandmothers ah. yeah because they will say our children have gone to look for jobs outside the city outside the country yeah, so we are the ones who are minding these kids. And I remember going home that evening and I was asking myself, okay, so where are the dads? Where mm. are they? Where are they? And I remember the Lord giving me the scripture of a wise woman builds her own house with mm. her own hands. Mm. And a foolish woman tears down yes. her, house her house with her, house her hands. Her hand. And so I actually, it just hit me that day. So it doesn't matter whether the man is absent or mm. passive. So we catch this woman. Even abusive sometimes. Yeah. If this woman is whole and functional, and she knows what God has called her for. 
should be able to influence our generation. Mm. And that is why the vision for Uman Arise came in. Yeah. Mm. Raising a generation, no, raising a whole generation through a woman. Mm. Yeah, because we look at the whole generation, how the next generation, how can they be whole? Mm. And so the women are in pleasure. Do you know, Angelo, today, if you want your son to go in a certain direction and you are so hell bent on it, he will go in that direction. He will. Yeah. He will. Okay. There's something very powerful and in pleasure about women, and you will actually see it even in the Bible. Yeah. Genesis. Mm. Look at Sarah, whatever she wanted mm. as the outcome for her children. Mm. Look at Rebecca. Mm. When she decided. The game plan is this. That was the game plan. Somehow, yeah. along there you could see Isaac playing along. And you know? at what point do you feel uh, like the single and the married? Because I remember us taking same classes mm. at some times, and mm. then we would take separate classes at some point. Oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah. First of all, when we started Uman Arise, that is how Uman Arise was born from that need. Mm -hmm. A wise woman builds her own house, and so we started Uman Arise from that. Yeah, but this woman is actually influential and powerful, and then. We started first of all Hadassah wives. That was the first ah, recruitment yes. we did. Mm. Yeah, but then we were just thinking about moms. Yes. And then along the way we were like, okay, what about the single girls? What yeah. if today they married right, even yeah. before they were moms? With less baggage, with fewer less baggage, drama. better choices. Yeah, because sometimes you'll see in Hadassah even in wives. Better, cho better choices even in spouses. You know. Very true, actually, that is what I'm thinking about. Because in Hadassah wives, I mean, you're trying to mitigate a crisis. But what if these people had a softer landing? Yeah. We're even choosing the right way. That is why we have a dating with a purpose. Mm, yeah, as, that's as well, yeah, as one, one of, the, of the units. Yeah, yeah, one of the units in the singles program. Yeah. Because you want them to marry, right? And the other thing for this person to also look back at the end. Ten years from now, this will be the battle. Yeah. So that they are feeling equipped and empowered in advance. Mm. Yeah. And so Woman Arise is one of the off cuts of the programs. Our programs for kids is facing giants. Yes, yes. Yeah, still confidence. Mm. How can I face my giants with confidence? And Woman Arise is also about confidence. How can I arise regardless of what is holding me back? Mm. And intentional parenting is about confidence. That's true. How can I raise my children confidently? Sometimes even teaching them from my failures. That's true. You know, so that they can be able to have more life and they can become whole in their generation. Mm. And then also big mentor. Mm. Confidence in mentoring. That's true. So they can be confident mentors in terms of influencing children. Mm. Do you know, Anjiro, some of the, some of the struggles teachers usually have with kids, whether it is in Sunday school, or in, or in school, it actually reflects their inadequacy. That's true. And sometimes even the insecurity, sometimes things they didn't deal with. So That's this child true. is bringing out your baggage. Yeah. You know, so you're just reacting. And that is oh. why sometimes you don't like them. So by mm. just being aware mm. that they're different from me, they're not wrong. Mm. They're pulling triggers of me of things I've not dealt with. That's true. You know? Yeah. And so by understanding that, you'll actually be able to mentor them from a place of understanding. And also for these teachers to have an, an objectivity yeah. in terms of knowing I can actually influence the destiny of this child, not just academically, yeah. but in terms of the life quality and in terms of assurance and in terms of being a safe space for them. Mm. Yeah, because we have seen so many people became great people just because of a good teacher. That's true. One good teacher. Just one good teacher. Yeah, whether it was in church or, or in school. Okay. Mm -hmm. So thank you. Thank you so, so much for uh, watching today's episode and I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe because there's a lot of content. We are talking about reconfidence, we're talking about purpose and so many other uh, things. And so thank you, Pops, mm -hmm. for allowing me to take over your channel. Yeah, and yeah it was for, a pleasure for the having you, time, For the first time, you sitting and telling us a story mm -hmm. of what, mm -hmm. what led to all this. Mm -hmm. And so thank you so much. Mm -hmm. All right. See you another day. Bye. Hopefully I'll come back. And <laughs> maybe not to host. Are, are you asking for another opportunity? <laughs> Who knows? Yeah. yeah, we will actually yeah we will actually be exploring a lot of confidence conversations and this is definitely one great risk that this girl has taken. That is why I went to support her. <laughs> Thank yeah, you. So we will definitely be having you over. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. Anyway. Mm -hmm. <laughs>